Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the OP-1 and see how I find myself using it in 2023. Let's go. Alright, so welcome back guys, and basically I just thought I've had this OP-1 for probably about a year now I would say, and it's amazing. I, I honestly, considering the price, it's quite steep, but besides the fact it's been a really great tool for creating music with and finding new sources of inspiration. As always, I'm a big fan. So in this video, I just figured I would show you kind of how I'm getting use out of it because, you know, you see people use these in a couple different ways and I try to use it across the board. I try to make music on it. I try to use it when I'm making music and, uh, you know, just having fun with it. It's, it's a great tool. So I think let's kind of dive in a bit and I'll just show you how I use it. Starting off with basically something I've got here, you know, you can make beats on this thing, very basic, but you know, it sounds like this. So I've got, you know, full control over creating a beat in this, I can add some effects, this filter in this case, you know. Or I can go and do something crazy like add a phone. Or a spring. So great. I think for getting quick ideas out on the table as soon as possible, this is awesome. It's a great little tool for that. But some people might find it a little limiting because it's only got four tracks. And, you know, on a tape machine, you've only got four tracks to work with. And obviously, you can record as much as you want on those tracks. But after they're recorded, they're kind of baked in and you can't really change anything. So with that limitation in mind, obviously, it's really fun to create music on. But I would take it outside of the OP-1. So when I'm working on a song, I can just go through and you know, record as many tracks as I want. Now, bearing that in mind, how I find myself using this on songs is just as an instrument. You know, I'll, I'll connect it via this auxiliary I have here and I'll record everything as audio. And if I need to kind of sync it up, quantize it or whatever, I can do that in Ableton because it's great at doing that. So I thought I'm just going to quickly lay down a beat, an idea, something we can kind of use this to start adding to it. So be right back. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our little beat together, very simple. I'm just going to start using this, flicking through some presets, and let's see what we got. Now, I've got this synth up called Pulse. Very interesting synth, as are all of these synths that are built in. They've all got this very interesting GUI, which makes it very fun and uh, very little, you know, faff to learn. You're not really looking at words, you're more just looking at symbols and tweaking. So, in this case, go to sound like this. Let's see if we can add it to this beat. So, I've created an auxiliary folder in my template, which is basically just my loose aux here. And so we can start tracking some stuff. That's one layer. Let's see what else we can add. Maybe I'll find the sample this time. So if I go into my presets and so let's see presets. I actually really like this one. 
you like these sounds, you can probably find them on op1.fun. It's just a free website where people upload their own samples and sounds so that you can use them in your OP1. And I would strongly recommend it because there's loads of great stuff in here. So let's put something in. <laughs> Put this in before I freak out. Okay, so we've got these two sounds that we've recorded. I'm just going to put a bit of effects on them just to kind of make them sound a bit more unique off the bat so for this top one probably add some delay and some reverb just to kind of get it sounding a bit more spacey to analogs boom nice little bit of reverb nice so that's just a bit more spacey Awesome. And now this kind of brass sound. Mm. Now it's nice, but because this is running mono, everything is very kind of in the middle of the mix right now. So I kind of want to just expand it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this sound stereo by just using a delay. And this is just a stereo preset that I've created. So it just makes it sound like this. Make it a bit wider, actually. Let's try 50. Yeah. Nice. So I got that. Let's distort it by using the saturator. Whoa. Can hear all of that noise coming from inside this bad boy. Sick. All right, let's hear it. Awesome. So we've got that. Let's just add a couple more ideas. I might just try another synth that we've got on here, so let's try digital. Interesting, okay, let's go. another echo on that. You know what, whilst we're here, let's get the antenna, then I can maybe sample something off the radio, let's see. Alright. Oh yeah. Ooh, that is loud, alright, let's find the station. I'm really trying, but it's so hard. Oh, I get it. You know what would go perfectly with those fritters? <laughs> what? How about some hot chocolate? Made the Spanish way. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, then. Kirsty, hmm? you really are the perfect friend, you know. <laughs> How about made the Spanish Sounds great. <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds great. Made, made the Spanish way. Sounds great. Kirsty. Sounds great. Sounds great. Made, made the Spanish way. Sounds great. Kirsty. Sounds great. Sounds great. Made, made the Spanish way. Sounds great.
Kirsty. Okay, so we got a crazy little, I have no idea what that was, maybe an advert for tea or something, but uh, got some samples. <laughs> oh, about Look, made this sounds great. You really are the perfect friend, you know. <laughs> you really are the perfect. Wow, so wholesome. Really sounds great. <laughs> but I found this. Kirsty. Obviously without the Kirsty bit at the end. And that's quite an interesting texture, so I might just chuck that in. Let's go. We got a little percussive thing going on. This might be a good time to use that quantize. So let's chuck a 1 16th. Let's hear it with the beat. You know what? I take that back. F quantizing. <laughs> Sounds great sample in there. Sounds great. I think to tie this all together, maybe we'll add a bit of side chain compression to really get that kick slapping. Since I'm just using a drum break, I'm actually gonna have to do some creative side chaining. So let's just get this going. Get the side chain for that break. And now if I audition this. That's what we're hearing in the side chain. So I just want the kick. So if I turn on the CQ and filter down everything, I can just get it tight enough to get that kick. Okay. I mean, it's clipping, but that's just the audition. So if I turn that off, we should have a pretty clean side chain signal. All right, let me copy this over to a couple more of those OP1 layers we've created. See if I can maybe find another. Oh. I'm kind of done with the sample, so let me see if I can find another one. Um, love that John Lennon loved it in Darnes. Let's find some music. Oh, we got some great drums at the start of that. Free of charge drums to add to our beat. Let's go. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Go play with these levels a bit because everything's all over the place right now. Right. And of course, get our little cheeky god particle on there to make this ting slap. Right. Okay, so last but not least, let's just find one more sound. I think I'm going to try out this voltage 
synth. Sick. That sounds pretty good. All right. So we've got the synth. Might make it mono. Mono? Okay, great. Let's add this to the track. So that's about it. Obviously, this beat is about 41 seconds, so we'll probably have to do some arrangements. So I'm quickly just going to grab this, duplicate it a bunch of times. We can scoot this over to the start. And now we can kind of build our arrangement a bit. So say I take off the drums and probably half of these OP1 things we've put in and just keep it bass and keys. So there you go guys, that was my video on how I find the OP-1 in 2023. You know, there's a lot of many ways you can use this, a lot of ways you can find inspiration from it. So if you own one, I would really suggest you diving deep into it because there's so many ways you can make use of this thing. These are just a couple of ways that I like to take advantage of it. So if you learned anything, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate the feedback and feel free to leave us a like and, and subscribe and all that stuff. I really appreciate the support for the channel. So thank you guys very much for that. Once again, I've been Chris Vella and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.